welcome to my channel. I'm so sorry. I apologize. It's like really dark. I normally do reviews in the daytime, but I completely forgot and then I got hungry and I was like, I just bought this at Target. I spent like quite a bit of money on this, so I got to review it for my channel, right? But it's the Bolognese style vegan lasagna. I got this at Target and the reason why I got it, it says it's made in Parma, Italy. It's completely vegan. They do have other um, items that are not vegan that are just vegetarian. But this contains wheat, gluten, coconut, and soybean. So I went ahead and mic'd it. And um, it says mic it for quite a while. I have a powerful microwave. I think it was like six, six to seven minutes. So I only mic'd it for like five. And it's already like really hot and you can smell it. But... It kind of smells like mashed potatoes and cauliflower and it doesn't really smell like, it doesn't smell bad, but it doesn't smell like bolognese or cheese or cheese and bolognese, which it is vegan, so you can't expect too much out of it. Hmm. All right, so there's like two different things going on here. You got this like white thick slurry on top. Can you see that? I don't think you can. And that's like just like cauliflower puree. Mm. And then you got this other stuff that's like, like more like see-through kind of gelatinous looking, which I think I just tasted. There's not much filling in here either. If that's their, let's just go straight to the bolognese. I'm not crazy about that. All right. They're make-believe cheese, what they're going with, with this, like, cauliflower thing ain't working. But I've never been to Italy, so... I've never had like really good authentic bolognese, but I was right thinking that this comes from Italy and it tastes like a really like good high quality bolognese. The inside is freaking amazing, like absolutely amazing. That has so much flavor. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I, they, they just need to work on their cheese. Cohesively though, when you do the bolognese inside the tomato, you know, fake meat bolognese with the sauce on top. Cohesively together, it, it works. But, it's more like mashed potatoes and cauliflower. But, this is more like, without the bolognese, it tastes like it's trying to be a veggie, what would you call this, lasagna? Like a veggie lasagna that's not trying to be cheesy because of the cauliflower and vegetables. But then with the bolognese sauce, it brings it up to level. My goodness, that is some rich, thick flavorful sauce you don't get a lot i wish they gave you more well i don't know there's layers there's a big old chunk of it right there let's need some vegan cheese maybe some nutritional yeast i think i'm gonna save the rest and go inside <laughs> and go inside and won't be sharing this with y'all on the video because I'm eating it myself. But now I'll leave a comment below and tell you if it's good nutritional yeast. Mmm. So, I give this a solid 7. I would give it an 8. But I'm not crazy about the cauliflower, mashed potato, cauliflower, whatever you want to call it, topping. But the inside is what brings it up to that 7. Um... Maybe this company in Italy just doesn't know how to do 
vegan cheese. Mm, you know what would be really good in with this? Vegan ricotta. Mmm. That would be so good from Kite Heel. Oh. Anyway, I will get it again. Please comment, like, subscribe, and let me know what other foods you want me to try. And don't forget to hit the bell icon when you subscribe, because then you'll know when I come up with more content. All right, bye-bye.